Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of Tech Talk. I'm your host Nitin Abhi. Join us as we talk about our cutting edge fiber optics lab and learn about the primary parameters measured to ensure optimal network performance. Discover the advanced equipment and techniques used to test and measure fibers and hear about a recent project that delivered groundbreaking results. All this and more coming up next with our chat with Dr. Anisha Methi of our R&D team based out of Aurangabad lab. Let's get started. So, you know the primary what are the primary optical fiber parameters that your lab measures to ensure the performance of the fiber in a real network? Basically, the range of parameters we measure here I mean the optical fiber parameters we measure here like the attenuation, dispersion, MFT, splice loss, bend loss and refractive index profile, the residual stress profile in fibers and okay. apart from this we also do some advanced such experiments like optical fiber nonlinearities which may play its role when we have a high uh, launched optical power into the fiber so this optical fiber uh, nonlinearity experiments include the nonlinear refractive index the raman relon gain characteristics the damage sensitivity of a fiber with respect to the high optical power so uh, all those parameters which i have mentioned till now are very critical to ensure the transmission performance of the uh, fiber in any kind of network architecture like metro access long distance anywhere you see and along with that with the lowest possible detail rate also can you describe the equipment and tools that your lab uses to perform these various t- tests and measurements and you know how does your lab also collaborate with other departments or teams within your organization to ensure the quality and reliability of the optical fiber products would you you know shed some light on that okay regarding your first question like what equipments and tools we use uh, to measure this optical fiber parameter so basically there are a range of equipments and uh, i should mention that all the equipments we are using are compliant to the international standards like iec itut telecordia etc okay. so all our equipments and tools are compliant to those international standards and we also have developed our in house measurement setups in some cases this in house measurement setups actually they do not come in a compact form uh, like commercially available in a compact form but we had to customize it based on our requirements so okay. in, in this in house measurement setups actually what happens like this is the combination of equipments which we are having and uh, in this in house measurement setups also we comply to the international standards we use the equipments that comply to the international standards to ensure that our uh, measurement or qualification and these things are very reliable and ensure the quality of the fiber okay got it and yeah. you know i also asked about how do you manage it internally within the organization with your teams and all our taste and measurements are very much what is called are very much important during the product development cycle we support the cross functional teams or the product development teams we send our feedback to the cross functional teams or the product development team and we suggest that where and where should there is a need for improvement in the product design or suppose in the cross function thing we can like uh, where it can be improved in some aspect in the maybe in some other aspect apart from product design so these are our collaborations with the and also we are very much uh, responsible in some cases for addressing customer queries in customer queries through the quality assurance team how do you stay up to date with the latest advancements and technologies in the field of photonics and fiber characterizations i mean these technologies and these advancements keep changing so you know what is it that keeps you updated every now and then and you know ensure that we are you know at par with the technologies of the world we keep track or we follow closely all the research publications happening globally in the very well reputed places we always uh, keep in close track 
got it but from this like we are uh, we have very much strong focus uh, on publications ourselves we have we strongly focus on publications in national international conferences journals etc and in intellectual property creation and okay. uh, so we uh, these all these publications encompass the total area maybe of new fiber design test measurements and supporting the standard uh, the international standards we do uh, test and measurements that are also helpful like to the people who are representing our organization in the standards so we uh, like like uh, we support them in okay. terms of test and measurements Okay. and we also benchmark our uh, research capabilities to the best in class globally current uh, like best in class globally existing solutions okay. so and what is that like our current focus is also really like what is happening throughout the globe and we try to adapt to these things could you you know walk me through the recent project or the case study that your lab worked on and the role that your lab played in delivering a successful outcome for that i would like to mention we have currently the focus on the next generation fibers yeah. like space division multiplexing or the reduced diameter fibers so on this area we recently have achieved some milestone suppose the multi core fiber which is very much it is a kind of space division multiplexing fiber the product development team has developed this multi core fiber this multi core fiber is expected to give you the multi fold capacity like it is having multiple number of cores in a single cladding mm-hmm. which can which is expected to provide the capacity equivalent to the number of cores there are okay so, uh, like if there are four cores then four fold capacity you are expected to get okay so recently like like our team has demonstrated the four fold capacity con- compared to the standard conventional fiber like okay. with a single core fiber they uh, earlier they had achieved 20 tbps over 50 kilometers we have a very special kind of uh, splicer which is capable of splicing the uh, multi core fiber to multi core fiber splicing okay uh, we have done and uh, earlier experiments we used to do in some some amount of time but now it is taking significantly less time okay and uh, uh, we can do it like in equivalent time as the single core fibers anything else that you uh, you know want to add to this interview to you know anything any other information that you would want to give to our uh, you know viewers out there based on the global trends we are also continuously trying to adapt to the global trends like okay. we are keeping track we are continuously trying to adapt by like uh, setting up more and more measurement setups to characterize next generation fibers and all these stuff all right so thank you so much dr nisha that was a very very fruitful conversation and uh, i look forward to seeing you in our uh, you know future episodes thank you so much If you found this video helpful make sure you follow us and subscribe to our channel for more useful content 